2019 is upon us, which means the chance to kickstart your year, and with these applications, we think you can. Not all are exactly unknown, and some you'll already have already, but we figure they'll help you be more healthy, happy, and productive throughout 2019, so let's go. This is a shameless plug for one of our very own team members who developed Inware to help developers and enthusiasts get properly in-depth device information. You can see everything from display information, camera details and even the status of route. I feel like I'm doing this application a complete disservice as it really is a superb utility tool that is an essential download. There isn't a built-in unzip tool in stock Android at the very least. So if you like the stock file manager, then for productivity purposes, then this simple, good looking unzip tool works great. I use it daily to unzip files to view CSVs, and with no native way to view, it's an essential for my workflow. If you download files too, it also scans for new zip files and allows you to open archives for your preferred location. Combined with a decent file explorer, it's a great extra productivity tool. Although I use the stock files app for folder management on my Pixel 3 XL, Solid File Explorer is most definitely the best third-party file management app still available. The paid version is my go-to and the ability to link directly to cloud storage options is one of the reasons it makes it such a great file management system. There's even a built-in unarchiver making my previous unzip app a little bit redundant if you're happy to swap out your entire current file management system. As far as weather apps go, Dark Sky is one of the very best available. It's actually relatively new to me and was recommended by a fellow 9to5 Google team member. It's great for someone like me who lives in rainy England and is constantly checking to see whether I need to take a jacket with me whenever I head out. This daily tussle with the weather is made easier as Dark Sky has live in-depth weather front information, so heading out for a walk doesn't result in getting caught in the rain. It does require a $2.99 subscription fee, but it's well worth the money for a regularly updated and superb looking weather management app. Another application that I haven't really used before until being told to check it out. LastPass does offer a free and a paid for alternative to Google's autofill password and login info system. It's arguably the most well known option out there and whilst there is a paid for plan alongside a free option, I've started using the free option myself. I've been using LastPass mainly on review units where I don't want to add my Google account information, which is great for those that don't want to rely on Google services. The best thing about LastPass is it doesn't just safely store passwords and login information, it allows you to save notes and other list information directly within the application in a nice secure system. Copying text from Android applications in certain parts of Android is often frustrating or simply doesn't work well at all. Universal Copy and its clipboard management is great for accurate text selection and copying without the finicky long press system. I find it great for getting information out of one application and sharing it with another, or simply getting one portion of information from a wall of text without the annoyance. Activating is really nice and simple too, all it takes is a swipe down from the notification shade, clicking and then the app scans the page for selectable text. It's so simple and easy I'm actually hoping we see this eventually come to stock Android. Customization is core to Android, and it's very much one of the reasons I am an Android user. It's even better if that can be automated too. Tap it is a simple but neat auto wallpaper generation option for those that want a brand new wallpaper daily or hourly without having to make much effort. Tap it doesn't actually require any data connection to create these unique daily or hourly wallpapers. Instead, it uses mathematical operations to change up your backdrop and then has fine tuning options so that you can have color coded wallpapers to match the rest of your setup. There is a premium version that allows for further theming, but the free model is more than adequate for most themers out there. Neverthink is an app that I've dipped in and out of for quite a while and it replicates normal TV but instead has curated channels of YouTube content rather than a proper programming schedule. It's great for cord cutters that still want the ability to channel hook but with actually decent content. As it relies heavily on YouTube, the ability to Chromecast is another boon for those out there that want to move away from the traditional TV format. And I must say there are some great channels too, with the kind of videos that you might not necessarily have found simply by browsing YouTube manually. New Year New Me might be a bit of a played out meme, but genuinely my fitness pal is a great way to help you achieve your fitness goals. I would love to say that Google Fit could match my fitness pal, but honestly that would be a lie. It's great being able to properly and accurately track your calorie intake and manage your diet within the app, and then link it to Google Fit for an even overall better health tracking system. The push notifications are also great for keeping you focused, as are all the meal management or other daily tracking goal methods. 
It's 2019 and we still can't believe that some people are not using Google Photos. It simply is the best gallery app out on any platform. Well, at least in our opinion. The backup options and auto gallery tools make it such an awesome photo and gallery option. That combined with the power of the Google Assistant and auto shareable albums puts it well above others in the same field. The search function is incredibly powerful thanks to the power of Google search. Search for a place and it pulls photos and videos from that location. The shared album function is also awesome for creating and sharing family galleries. And then beyond that, you can Chromecast your TV to see all of your images in high res glory. We've got one extra application that much like Google Photos, we still can't believe people don't use in 2019. Google Opinion Rewards is such a great way for accruing Google Play Store credit so that you don't actually have to pay for paid apps. It's just a win-win scenario. Answer a few questions about your recent activity and you'll get a quick bit of credit kit your way to using the Google Play Store on games, apps, movies, and TV shows. You can even use the credit to pay for YouTube Premium or Google Play subscriptions, which is also a neat addition. Just for that reason alone, Google Opinion Rewards has to be considered a must download application for any Android user. So there we have it, hopefully even if you do have a few of these options already, you might find at least one application that you haven't tried, so this video isn't a complete bust. We love to hear your recommendations too, let us know what you're loving in the comments section below, and remember to subscribe for more Android and Google focused content just like this. As always, this is Damien for 95 Google saying thanks for watching, and I will speak to you later.